What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru today. And behind me today, I have what it will become the future of Subaru. This is the new 2017 Subaru Impreza. And as you can see, just by looking at it, almost nothing is the same. This is a true redesign of the Impreza. But it's actually gonna start being made in Lafayette, Indiana, and is using the new global platform. So this is the 2.0i limited hatchback. A couple things you'll notice on the outside. The front of the car is starting to, in my opinion, resemble a little bit more of the sort of legacy and outback look to it. You are gonna have the LED steering responsive headlights up here, and you're gonna have the nice kind of like on the Forester XT, your daytime running lights up here. Just a little bit softer, more refined look in general. They have done a couple things to help improve fuel economy. You're now gonna get 38 miles per gallon. So they do have the active grill shutter, and they've also added aerodynamic panels underneath to kind of help reduce wind resistance there as well. The new global platform that they're using, this is the real future of what Subaru will become. They will be using this in the future on a number of different models, and this is the first one to actually use it. What I mean by that global platform is that it's sort of module in nature, you know, module, so you can actually adjust it and stretch it and widen it. It has a 70% increase in body rigidity, so you have a little bit stiffer feel when you drive it. They've also decreased body roll by 50%, uh, and they've actually uh, increased impact absorption by 40%. So uh, it's a little bit stiffer. They've lowered it by about half an inch, so not too much noticeable there, but the sporty feel, the stiffer responsiveness is definitely there and definitely makes this car so much more fun to drive than what it used to be even just a year ago. So a couple other things that you'll notice on the outside, definitely a little bit more refined look here. You do still have the chrome here, but they have added chrome to the door panels as well. This one does have the eyesight, so you will get the blind spot detection. They have added the reverse automatic braking to this, as well as the steering responsive headlights. All of the features you'll see on the Outbacks and Legacy are now gonna be available on this car. If you guys follow me over to the back side as well, a couple things that you're gonna notice here. Like I said, they're really kind of going for that Legacy Outback look. The taillights are different. So they're sort of kind of blending that into sort of a uniform idea of the, you know, the Outback, the Forester, the Impreza, uh, which in my opinion, I think will probably be all on the global platform in the future. All right, so this is the new engine for the 2017 Subaru Impreza. Uh, and while it may look relatively similar to you, it is still the 2.0i four-cylinder boxer engine. About 80% of the components in this engine are new for the 17 Impreza, which is huge. So a lot of the materials that they previously had that they were using metal for, they've started using composites, which has really helped to reduce the overall weight of the engine. They also have a new direct injection process that they're using, which helps do the engine to breathe a little bit better and just creates overall better efficiency. Something else that they've also done is they actually have increased power. So you used to get 148 horsepower, I believe, on the Impreza. Now you're getting 152 horsepower, uh, and that's coming out at max power around 6,000 RPM. We're also getting around 148 foot-pounds of torque, and that's coming out at 4,000 RPM. So uh, about 200 RPM sooner than you previously used to have. And due to the overall greater efficiency that the 17 Impreza has, you're, you're just getting a much better acceleration feel overall. A lot of that's in conjunction to the stiffer feel of it, but when you touch that gas pedal, it really starts to move, and it really gives it a much more sporty feel uh, than it used to have, which I really, really like. Hey, now I'm on the inside of the car. Would you look at that? So if you don't think that there's a lot of changes that have been made to the outside, everything on here is different. Everything is different. There's nothing, almost nothing that's carrying over whatsoever. To start, first thing, uh, the steering wheel. We did a review of the BRZ, and one thing I didn't like was the lack of refined hand grip positions. That is not the case with this. You have very, very defined places for your hands. Nice leather wrap steering wheel here in the limited trim level. And the overall design of it, they've actually changed where everything is. I mean, you have your voice activation buttons and phone buttons are still on the same side and everything, but the overall layout of it is much more efficient than it used to be. Overall feel, I feel the steering wheel is a little bit smaller, which is nice for a sort of sporty feel. But just in general, I mean, the level of refinement that they have done, I mean, if you can see these seats, this kind of stitching and sort of look of a seat I would expect to see in you know a Lexus, a higher end Lexus, not in a 20 something thousand dollar Subaru. I mean this is this is huge. This sort of detail here um, I absolutely love. 
Um, we did a review a while ago uh, as well of the Camry versus the Legacy. And one of the things I really liked about the Camry was this sort of stitching that they have here. So they've added this. This is very much a Lexus-like feature. You'll see it in a lot of higher end cars, but to see that in the economy level car for Subaru uh, is absolutely amazing. There's a couple other things that they've done. Overall, the dimensions of the vehicle are slightly different. It's about 1.6 inches longer, I believe, about 1.5 inches wider, and about 0.5 inches lower, which is not that crazy, but it definitely gives you a greater sense of feel. I feel like this is a much larger car than it used to be, which is good, especially in the back. Other than that, a couple of the things that they've done, very minor things. For example, heated seats. They used to have to be back here, and you, it was kind of weird to turn them on and off. Now they're right here, you can touch them, your hand rests really nicely here. They sort of refinished this grip here, you've got some nice leather accents here. Biggest thing on the inside right here is this infotainment system. This is the future of Subaru. Finally, we are catching up to a lot of our competitors and we're doing things even better than them in a lot of cases here too. So, uh, one of the things I really, really like, so, so, so user friendly. I mean, you only have six buttons here. You have all of your radio, infotainment stuff set up here. This one does have eight Harman Kardon, uh, Harman Kardon speakers in it. So really, really good sound there as well. And the biggest thing is you have Apple CarPlay now. Yes, so I could literally go to my home screen, hit Apple CarPlay and boom. Even if I don't have navigation in the car, I can still use Google Maps to navigate myself without having you know, a super high trim level. And this is a feature that's gonna be available in all of the Imprezas, which is really nice. So that's probably one of my favorite features. One thing I don't like, and it's just a very personal thing, I don't like these vents here, even though they seem extremely practical, just because it reminds me of a Ford Focus, and I don't like that. But that's the only thing, really. Other than that, very, very easy to use. You've got a lot of apps that you can use now, such as Travelink. You have apps that you can use to tell you where open parking is with pricing, uh, which is just a huge upgrade. I mean, even in the highest level of the Impreza previously, you didn't have stuff like this. So to have it and to see it is so amazing. Like I said previously, this new infotainment system that's up here too, above the screen, this is what we're gonna use the source button to scroll through. So we can actually take a look at a number of different things up here. It has like a tiltometer to show me what my angle is. Uh, I can see my, my, my wheels are going. I can see the speed, oil temp. All of these gauges are very, very detailed and a really sort of luxury refined nature to them. I can even check the weather up there, which is super, super nice, all while keeping my eyes on the road. All right, so here I am in the back of the new 2017 Impreza, and this is definitely a much nicer place to be than it was previously. Um, they've only increased the length by about an inch in like 1.6 inches, and it's about one and a half inches wider, but for some reason it seems so much more spacious in here just when you, you know comparing those small numbers. Uh, I'm about 6'1", like I said, uh, and I'm sitting right behind myself, so behind a relatively taller person, and I still have probably four to four inches or so of leg room back here and above me if I sit straight, which I never do, uh, I probably have about two and a half inches or so. You can kind of see, like I said, some similarities of the Outback and Legacy in particular, especially in these new taillights here. So these are all new. They've kind of changed the angle here of the rear spoiler. It sticks out a little bit longer than it used to. Uh, and then as I mentioned previously as well, you do have the reverse automatic braking. And there's actually one other thing about the backup camera now is it actually turns, it shows you projections, it shows the trajectory where you're going. So we've been waiting for that for so long and it's so nice to finally have that. So, uh, but one of the coolest things about the back of this car is the shape of the trunk entrance. So a lot of cars, as I'm sure you're used to, they kind of have like, you know, this sort of angled in effect here, which really kind of screws with your ability to put larger objects in there. So this is a 60-40 folding split. Uh, there is no button like in the Outback and stuff where it, it folds down with the touch of a button, so you'd have to fold it down. But you have so much more space here, and with this wider, more straight kind of angle that goes up like this, you're able to fit much larger objects in the back with relative ease, which is a huge, huge thing. So not only is this a car that's gonna offer you Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, 38 miles per gallon on the highway, but it's also gonna give you plenty of cargo capacity for you to take all of your stuff and all your friends with you couple quick things um, about this. Now I mentioned that the rigidity of the chassis is increased by 70% with the new global platform, and that's true. But something that you can feel from just driving it around, and we're going pretty slow right now, is 
it's so much quieter and smoother. They did put a new suspension in it, which is probably one of the main reasons there. But also they've added a lot of noise insulation to it. So we've got noise insulation under the seats. You've got a new windshield on here that's very similar to that of the Outback and Legacy. Uh, and now the Forester actually. And the design and the adhesives and the new welding techniques that they've used have gotten rid of a lot of that chatter and road noise that you feel from underneath. I would describe driving this car right now almost as smooth and quiet as an Outback despite being significantly lower. So previously this used to be one of the biggest things, biggest kind of complaints about you know the, the Crosstrek or the Impreza, the, the lighter, sportier feeling cars, and no longer is that really the case. You can also tell quite a bit, uh, not just in the stiffness and decrease in body roll, but also there's a lot more power. I told you that it's coming on about two, 200 RPMs or so earlier, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but when I put my foot down, it goes. I don't hear that sort of boxer whine kind of like you used to in a little bit older models. And in general too, you know where your your hands are going, where you you feel that you feel the steering wheel, everything just seems to be a little bit more thought out. Everything kind of seems to be where it is supposed to be. Um, one of the nicest things too is that now you actually, in terms of infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, that is awesome. Biggest thing there is that you know people used to want to have navigation, but with Subaru the way that they you know they build these packages, you'd have to get you know a fully loaded one. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will be in all of the trim levels of the new Impreza. So even if you don't have the navigation built into the console with the eight inch screen, you can still have navigation and you can still use it through your phone. Will it use data? Absolutely it will. So that's something to think about too. You know, Do you have an unlimited data plan? That's a big thing. The other thing is uh, the EyeSight is new. Everything that you could possibly have with EyeSight, high beam assist, reverse automatic braking, it's all here now. You have everything that you could is, that Subaru has possibly made, which is really, really nice. Um, and one of the biggest things, in addition to all of that, that I really, really like, is just the funness of it. I don't know if I don't even know if that's a word. Actually, it's probably not. But I'm gonna say it is because this is America. Which go out and vote, everybody. I know by the time you see this. It's already gonna be over, but go out and vote. It's really important. It's part of your American duty. But something I just really like is the Harman Kardon system in the Impreza. You didn't used to be able to have that. Um, they didn't have it. Even if you had navigation, eyesight, all that stuff, you didn't have it. And they use these new, I think they call them green edge speakers, which are actually more powerful, put out clearer sound, and use significantly less energy, which is awesome. And then you also have a new feature in here that's just gonna be in the Impreza, nothing else has this right now with Subaru. It's called Harman Clarify. And since you have all of these sort of streaming, you know, you know Bluetooth audio um, files, you know, let's say you're watching something from Pandora or you're listening to something from Pandora or even YouTube or something like that, that's using a lot of data or that's using a lot of, it's a very complex file, so to speak. So a lot of times when you transfer that over, even if you have a really good speakers, you're not getting a lot of good sound because a lot of that, when they're trying to crunch all those files together, you're losing a lot of that information. So what this does, this Clarify system by Harman, is it actually like compresses all of these files and spreads them out a little bit so you don't lose any of that, you know, that sound that is coming from the original source there, which is really, really good. So the sound quality in this is awesome. I don't know how well this will translate over. Let's see what kind of a uh, bump we got going here. Oh, baby, that is just so good. That's good stuff. This actually sounds, this sounds better than the Outback does with Harman Kardon. It sounds better, and I don't know if it is because of all the work that they did. I watched something about when they were designing it, and they spent thousands of hours, this guy just sitting in the seat with headphones on, just basically tuning all of the speakers and everything to provide the best possible sound to it. And I think all of that time, sir, the thousands of hours in the seat, at least you sat in a comfortable one, uh, really paid off. It is really, really good sound system in this car, which I really love. So 
Um, and I actually had the opportunity to take this out when we were in Loveland. I was actually with Subaru Corporate, and they, we were you know, taking the first look at the uh, 17 and present. We actually got to take it out on a track. And I know we're not allowed to really take this out real fast right now because I don't have anybody from corporate with me right now, but if only I had footage of that day, this thing is a race car with luxury feel, which is amazing. So I'm super, super excited for this. First time ever the Impreza is actually gonna be built in the US. It's gonna be built in Lafayette, Indiana, which is the most environmentally friendly uh, you know, auto plant that we have in the United States. So really, really nice. It's gonna be easier to get parts, easier to get inventory, which is just a huge benefit to everyone. I think that this car is going to be one of the best sellers. Uh, I think the Impreza is gonna see the best sales year that it has ever had with this new car that they've come out with. I almost can guarantee it. I'm really excited for it. Um, so right now it's early November. We'll probably see this before the end of the year, uh, most likely. So dealerships aren't really seeing this quite yet. There's a lot of other stuff that's gonna be coming out too. The new Sport. First time we're gonna see active torque vectoring in the Sport model of this. Really, really excited for all that. Um, so once we get those, we'll do a little bit more in-depth reviews once all of the trim levels are out and we're able to see things up close and personal. If you guys have any questions about inbound inventory or placing an order or any questions about any of these things that we've talked about today, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, my name is Brendan Hancock. You can always call Groove Subaru and ask for me or just stop into the dealership and any one of our Subaru representatives would be happy to assist you. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe to our channel. We're almost at 600, we're super excited. We just broke 300,000 views. So we are thanking you guys so much for all of your uh, time that you've spent watching our videos, all your comments, everything, we read them all. So thank you so much and I hope to see you guys next time on Groot Super Today. Take care.